nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection you may lead us to where you call, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calunsur. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Look, we pray, O Lord, on this your family for whom our Lord Jesus Christ did not hesitate to be delivered into the hands of the wicked and submit to the agony of the cross, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is in. Thanks be to God.
the Pontificio Colegio Filipino. It is the home in Rome of Filipino secular diocesan priests, carefully chosen and formally sent by the respective bishops to pursue further studies in the different ecclesiastical centers in Rome. They may specialize in theology, philosophy, canon law, sacred scriptures, liturgy, history, communications, patristics, and other fields. They take up either the licentiate, which is a degree higher than the master's, or doctorate degrees for a period of two to four years. A rector, a vice rector procurator, and the spiritual director form the collegious group of administrators. They report directly to the Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines, which has an Episcopal Commission on the Collegia. During the Roman sojourn, whenever no academic commitments allow, the priests of the Collegia make themselves available to exercise their ministry with the Filipino diaspora and seek to know and obtain a most useful pastoral experience with the local churches in Italy. During Christmas, Holy Week, and summer breaks, they may continue their exposure in Italy, in the Holy Land, or in the different countries of Europe or America, doing pastoral work, studying other languages, or undertaking some other priestly endeavors. As a pontifical institution, the Collegio is directly under the Holy Father through the Congregation for Catholic Education of the Vatican. At the same time, the Collegio administration reports directly to the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines, which has an Episcopal Commission on the Pontificio Collegio Filipino. Priest in Rome, live Sum Umbra Petri, literally, under the shadow of Peter, close to the Holy Father physically, spiritually, and doctrinally. They can regularly see the Pope, at least from afar, and have relatively easy access to ceremonies he presides over. Likewise, Collegio priests have direct contact with the memory of early Christians and saints, receive classes at pontifical institutions from leading professors from different countries interact with priests from different continents and cultures and exercise their ministry with the Filipino diaspora and with the local churches in Italy and nearby countries. They learn foreign languages and with their knowledge of Italian, they have a more direct and immediate access to church information documents and pronouncements, especially those made orally or issued to news agencies in Italian. Such advantage of studying in Rome can hardly be obtained in other countries. Benedict XVI, on the 50th anniversary of Collegio Filipino, addressed its student priests and administrators saying, you have come to Rome not only to study, but to be formed according to the mind of the Church. This is why the spiritual formation in Collegio Filipino focuses on the permanent formation of priests. Aside from the usual help and means recommended by the Church, 
we encourage every student priest to give much time to the Lord in personal prayer. Our yearly retreat, monthly recollections, spiritual conferences, and holy hours are all geared towards this encounter with the Lord. Because of the demands of academic life, and at the same time, of course, yeah, the demand of our spiritual life. You have to budget your time. But one of the other things that had somehow balanced our life here is, is the fact that we live here as a community, in games, in playing, in, in sports, and especially even in our conversations. Uh, as I have said, once a priest withdrew from the community, that's the beginning of the end, I would say. So here at the College of Filipino, we still try to maintain a common time for meals, common time for outing, common time for just, uh, you know, shall we say, recreation together, trying to talk to one another, share things, what happened, what transpired the whole thing, or even sharing even nonsense things, I would say. But somehow this would uh, build our life as a community. Pope John the Twenty-Third said, as he blessed the Collegio in 1961, "These buildings, destined for the formation of your students in sacred sciences, will be like channels by which Catholic life." will be promoted among you and the band by which the Philippines, a nation very dear to us, will more intensely be linked with the supreme magisterium of the Church. Pontificio Collegio Philippine A home in the